hi friends how are you hope you're doing good now you've seen me in my typical African attire or Nigerian attire as we love to call it now why am I dressed like this something really exciting is coming up um, it's gonna be here in June in the UK June the 22nd to be exactly precise it's called the Royal Ascot and Royal Ascot is one of those events in the UK that is so so sought after my name is Joy Fido and this is the African Queen okay so what's so exciting about Royal Ascot um or why am I dressed like this the whole idea is to give the royal ascot the African traditional fashion theme. So we're calling this video Royal Ascot with the African traditional theme or traditional fashion theme. Only recently Beyonce had a baby shower and um, they said the theme was Nigerian theme. So this is what this is all about too. We're trying to attend the Royal Ascot, but the whole idea is to wear the typical African fashion and make that the theme of our dressing. So I have a paper here with me, which I'm going to read a little bit about what the Royal Ascot's history is about. And then thereafter, this video is all about giving you the various things you could experience when you go to Ascot and what you should expect when you go to Ascot and if we're lucky if we have the time we will slot in there in our video when we edit editing it you know some quick images of some of the outfits you find at Ascot um it is it is an exciting day I've been there three times and this year I'm going again it's something that happens once in a year and is a cream of fashion in the UK. I'm telling you, when you go there, you are speechless as to what fashion really does represent. And for someone who's into fashion like I am with the African Queen, I love to see other people's ideas about fashion. And then, of course, you marry ideas, don't you? You, you look at this person, you look at that person, you pick up ideas and you put it together and what you're thinking and you create something unique so that's why it's so exciting for me to go and see what the latest trends are in fashion because you cannot get any any anywhere else than at Ascot that's where the cream of fashion comes there the Queen comes there and the royal family comes there so this whole video is going to give you ideas and we're also inviting you because we've given you enough time now this video is done in May Okay, it might be a bit too too short for some people, but May and June, we have at least two, three weeks in between. Think about it, plan, do something, but go and see what the world is all about. It's exciting. It's not enough to sit at home and stare at the mirror day in, day out, or look at the wall and think that that's the end of the world. There is so much happening out there. And Royal Ascot, I will recommend to anybody. It's one of the best places to visit. So the little note I said I'll read, I mean, you can always go on online, you know, um, Google and search it, Royal Ascot, and see what you find. We, I just decided to do a little quick check before I came on screen to chat with you about this. It has been in existence over 300 years ago. Now, that's a lot of years. Queen Anne in 1711 saw the real potential it had, and then it was called the East Coat, um, which was later now changed to what we now know it as. The first race meeting was Her Majesty's Plate, and was what they did was they gave um, uh, it was like over something worth over 100 guineas, which was this Majesty's Plate was worth over 100 guineas. And this race was open to any horse that was over six years of age. So Royal Ascot is all about horse racing. So that's how it was. It all started. Each horse was to carry a weight of twelve stone, 
and all seven runners at that time were all English hunters. But of course, with time, everything has changed. Queen Anne's gift to racing as the founding royal race court is usually marked by the tradition of opening royal ascot with the Queen Anne's stakes. And then he carries on, he says, in 1813, Parliament passed an act of enclosure, uh, which ensured that Ascot Heat will be kept and used as a race course for the public in the future. So racing at Ascot was now secure. So in 1813, that's when Parliament passed that on. Royal Ascot, the precise origin of the royal meeting are unclear as the event evolved from the first four-day meeting that took place in 1768. The meeting as is known today only really started to shape with the introduction of the Gold Cup in 1807. So now there's actually a tournament and there's a cup and then there are all these races. All the time I've been, you see people betting for various horses and people do win a lot of money. I have never betted though. But somehow I still get a bit confused what to do. But lots of my friends that I go with, they always bet and they win quite a bit of money. So Royal Ascot was the only race meeting held at Ascot until 1939. The Gold Cup remains a feature race of the third day of Royal Ascot. Traditionally, the busiest day of the week and colloquially known as Ladies Day. So Ladies Day is the biggest thing at Royal Ascot Racing and this is why you see every fashion in the world happening there. So in 2009, Yeats written by Johnny Mortag and trained by Aiden O'Brien won his fourth consecutive Gold Cup, a magnificent achievement and one that is unlikely to be re repeated. And so that's a little little snapshot about, um, snapshot about Royal Ascot. And the biggest thing you're going to find is the hat. You will see hats of all shapes and sizes. And if you're into, I think they call it millinery. millinery. It's one of those names that I struggle with. But people who make hats, that's what it is. If you're into that, that's the place to be. Because you will see hats upon hats upon hats. And I remember some of the years I've taken as many pictures of the unique hats as I find because my sister is into making hats so usually I used to try and pass on the images to her so she can look at them and see how she can add value or take away something and create something unique for herself so that's the whole idea so this video is going to be a bit more like um, we call it lookbook where I'm going to show you various options it's all about options so what I'm wearing now is the Ashoke from Nigeria and of course with the gilly and a top to kind of go with the with the gilly and then that ashoke is a little throw over to blend with the with the wrap itself so that's it and i tell you every time i go i don't usually wear a hat i'm not one for hats so i tie my big gilly and when you do something really unique at royal ascot you get everyone looking at you and curious about how you achieved it so some of the times i mean when people really really stand out you actually get your images taken by the newspapers and put it in the front page of the newspaper so i've not been that lucky but that's how close i've been so i'm gonna put all the information about this event coming up in the description box and then as i change the clothes i'll be telling you some more hints about what to expect at all your ascot okay so this is another outfit gold bag um because i did I, I do have a gold shoe to go with this so as usual just mix and match your accessories but this is the main outfit um again i'll show okay that's what the wrap is and that's what the throw is this time is a gold color with a gold lace top and then i've put a red gala on it but this is ashoke as well this is not the regular other fabric that we use so you can sometimes mix and match just to make it work and then i'm wearing corals my jewelry to go with the earring as well 
um, other accessories you can decide what you want to put on so some little hints about Asco now sometimes uh, it happens to be in June and so the rain could come or not come so always hold a little brolly with you um, high heel shoes is my staple is one of the biggest things you're gonna see there people wearing really really top of the range high heel shoes but if you're gonna be walking around because there's a lot of grass um, what you could do is just hold a little slip on that you can mark around, you know match around with very easily and then when you're ready for the pictures and the cameras you put on your high issues because you don't want to be uncomfortable what then happens most times is um, usually you go with a group I've been with several groups and this time I'm going with another group so I'm going to put all the details of this group in the description box so if you want to be part of this group that I am going to be part of to have this exciting day please call the number you're going to see in the box and register or buy your ticket and then we will all meet on that date and have so much fun but of course you go with the group and the group organizes everything so there's going to be a three course meal there's going to be champagne there's going to be wine there's going to be all kinds of drinks um all kinds of meals and then once we're done where they eating and drinking then we'll go and sit in the beautiful enclosure that we're going to go into in the past um there are three types of tickets uh, there's the regular ticket then there's the i think that's the bronze and then there's the silver and then there's the gold so the gold really sits in this posh place all nicely laid out the silver is behind that and then the bronze is the regular ticket that just walk around and so if you buy the regular ticket, you have to go with a chair for yourself. And so the chair is like um, when you go for a picnic, those picnic chairs. And so you just take it with you, it's like a little, they fold them. And so you hold it with you, get through the gates, and then you open it and you find a comfortable place and you sit down and relax until the race starts. But if you happen to be in the enclosures, there's always chairs there, all nicely arranged. So I've always been in the ordinary place in the past, but this time I'm going in the special place. So join me. It's going to be an exciting day. So that's my other outfit. Again, these are just giving you ideas of what you could do. Ideas. Right now, I'm still full of hair. I don't even know what I'm going to decide on. But of course, you're going to be seeing the pictures when I do go. Outfit number one. Uh, number two. Okay, so this is outfit number three. You can see it's a lovely top. Um, it's lace fabric with a hint of flare there. And it's kind of fitted, so it's not as um, free as the other two I wore. And then that's another Ashoka color. This is a silver color, or silver and gray in it. So then I have a silver bag to go with it. And then, um, you probably don't see it, but I'm wearing a red shoe to go with a red top and the red gilly, which is also a shoki. Okay, so now the big thing about this whole idea is about the outfit is we do have them in stock here at African Queen. We have various colors and I've done another video. I think we'll probably just link up that video with this where we've shown you the different colors in lace outfits, how you can tie them in a wrap form and they really stand out and give you that youngish look if you're worried about um, the outfit feeling too old. So there's so many ways you can wear them. And here I just mixed and matched the Ashoke with the lace and played around with it because I can do that but there are complete sets of everything here the Ashok is a complete set the laces are complete the wrap and the top and the gillies are all available so if you have decided which I recommend highly why because we live here in England there are cultures here that lots of us Africans in particular have not bothered to understand so we've taken all this 
distance from where we come from, because I say this to my students when they come here, and then they're coming from just London and it's about 50 minutes to South End, and they go, it's too far. And I said, did you walk all the way from Africa to England? No, you didn't. How did you get here? Oh, by plane. You can also get into a train. So if you've been curious enough to leave Africa and come here, be curious enough to know what happens in the environment where you live in. That's my advice to everyone. Don't lock yourself indoors and not integrate or participate or be part of what's going on. So I recommend highly attend us course. You need any advice and tips and hints on how to be ready for us Scott. I am here, I've been three times and I know what it's like. It's quite an exciting day. So all the clothes are here, all the jewelry are here. Um, advice, I'm happy to give them to you. Another little tip, it's an opportunity to meet other people as well. It's called networking. You might make lifetime friendship from there, you never know. So feel free, register. We're gonna put all the details in the description box. I think I do have the PayPal link. I'm not sure, but we'll try. Otherwise, the number is there. Call, book your ticket, be part of this team, have fun, enjoy your life. And um, I think I'll make this the last outfit. I'll see if there's something else, but We've done so many videos on outfits, African outfits, that you can now say, oh, I don't know where to find them from. Because we have them. They're all here. That's why we, we decided to go into this. But if traditional outfit is not your thing, there's so many places you can get clothes from. When I wear the typical um, Western outfit, I go to TK Maxx. That's my tip, TK Maxx. And my favorite TK Maxx is in Kensington. Yes, Kensington. It's got a huge mall there. And you'll be spoiled for choice. But of course, if you're not going there, there's Debenhams, there's... Um, what's that one in Harrods? There's Harrods. There's Saffridges. There are all these posh shops where you can get beautiful clothes from. Now, when you're thinking Ascot, don't think H&M. Don't think all the smaller shops. I won't think m &S as well because that's like office wear. You want something really classy and beautiful. And, but for me, African outfit because it's different. And the gila is different as well. So I think I'm going to definitely stop here. So thank you so much for watching this. And I really want to see you at Ascot. Um, take care of yourself and God bless you abundantly. Love.